Good afternoon. I want to thank you all for, for coming here today. It's an important day for us to reflect a, a bit on how God works in our life and how he calls us and draws us closer to himself. It was three months ago on this very day that I began what you might say a right of election of my own. And uh, let me explain a little bit. It was on the late afternoon of December 9th that uh, the Chancery Secretary in Green Bay called me and said that the Papal Nuncio called. And for those of you who haven't heard the story about how I got this call uh, about being the Bishop of Marquette, allow me just to share that with you. If you've heard it already, sorry to bore you. So it's yet late afternoon, December 9. I am teaching at Sacred Heart Seminary in Hales Corners, Wisconsin. That's the other Sacred Heart. And uh, it's late afternoon. I get the call from Terry Wickman, who was one of the secretaries in the Chancery in Green Bay, and said that the Papal Nuncio called for me. So I called the Nuncio's office back. And Milwaukee's in Central Time, Washington, D.C. is in Eastern Time. I just missed them. Uh, their office just closed by the time I called. And so I start wondering to myself, you know, did Terry really mean the Nuncio or did she mean a member of the Nuncio staff? Now, in my, my work in the Green Bay Chancery, it, it would not be that unusual to get a call from the Nuncio staff with different diocesan business that we would have with the Holy See. It would be extremely unusual to get a call from the Nuncio, and it would probably mean one thing. Uh, let's just say I spent a lot of time praying in the chapel that night. Well, the next morning, about 8.15, I called the nuncio's office, and uh, I introduced myself and said, you know, I received a message that yesterday afternoon His Excellency called for me. I am returning the phone call. And the woman who answered the phone uh, asked me, are you sure it was His Excellency or was it a member of his staff? That was exactly the question I had. And I said, well, the, the, the message was, was His Excellency. So she said, I will determine who called for you and we will get back to you. Five minutes later, uh, about 8.20 in the morning, the morning of December 10th, the nuncio called back. And uh, he said something like this. Monsignore. I have an announcement for you that is of a great importance for the Church. The Holy Father has chosen you to be the Bishop of Marquette. And, well, since I've been praying all, a lot during the night, I, I responded rather quickly, saying that with joy I, I would accept this. And then he thanked me for answering him so quickly. So here I am, okay, here I am. So, so why, why do I, I reflect a little bit on, on what happened to me three months ago in, in this, this context here? Election, the word election, comes from a Latin word meaning to choose. And what we celebrate in this right of the election is God's choice. God's choice of you. You are his chosen ones. God has chosen you. And you might ask, well, what has he chosen me for? I think there are two profound dimensions 
to this choice. The first is God has chosen you to be so close to his heart, so close to him, it's, it's more than, than you can possibly imagine. God has chosen you, each one of you, for himself as if you were the only person of the world and he loves you eternally. <clears throat> and he's called you into that intimacy. Now, some of you who uh, are married might remember your first date. Hope you remember your first date. Now, that was probably a pretty significant event because if there wasn't a first date, there wouldn't be a second date, and there wouldn't be a third date, and you wouldn't have fallen in love, and you wouldn't have gotten married. And so think about, about that invitation when, you know, one of you asked the other out, and the response was yes. A very significant response. Because if the other person would have said no, there would have been no first date, probably no second date. You know, you wouldn't have fallen in love, you wouldn't have been married. And how important that answer yes is. And so God has chosen you for himself. And by coming here today, you are expressing your answer yes. And remember that answer. And how significant that answer is. The second profound dimension of, of God's choice of you is one of mission. God has chosen you for a mission that only you can fulfill, you and no one else. In whatever your state of life is, whatever your occupation, wherever you live, you have a unique circle of people you interact with and somehow God has chosen you to make God, to make him present there. In whatever work you do, in the members of your family, in, in your neighborhood, God has chosen you for a mission to make you present there. And you can do that in a way that no one else can. Because only you have that unique circle of friends and associates that, that you can touch. No one else can do that. God has chosen you for himself, and he has chosen you for mission. And so as you, you know, come here today, as we celebrate God's choice of you, you are preparing to receive the sacraments of the church, to, to enter into full communion with the church, that you may experience God's intimacy through the reception of these sacraments and through the grace of these sacraments, that the Lord may empower you to carry out the mission for which he has chosen. Thank you for saying yes. And please continue to say yes to God throughout your entire life. Again, if someone would have said no to that first date, what would have happened? Don't say no to God. Come before him today. Say yes now. And say yes only.